So this is the Tory conference, which was incredibly exciting, because uh, the leader of the Conservative Party, Boris Johnson... Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it, if you're watching the repeat, it is. <laughs> It's an incredible set of speeches because he made the Tory conference give Ken Livingstone a round of applause. Yeah. He did. I'll never recover from that. <laughs> uh, look at that moment. This is the right moment, I think, to say thank you to Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, Tessa Jowell, and yes, Ken Livingstone. Thank you. Right. I really think, Ken, there is no coming back from that one. You've just got a clap from Tory party conference that if that hasn't finished you nothing will <laughs> that's a joke that's it that's, that's a, a joke, joke. He had been clapping without telling them why they were clapping. So, I mean, they were completely enthralled to him at the moment. And you've got to bear in mind, it was after listening to George Osborne. Anything's going to be uplifting after that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Osborne got through a whole speech without being booed. It's pretty good. <laughs> there is a very simple way of finding out how popular a politician is, as we can see here from the Paralympics. Medals tonight will be presented by the Right Honourable George Osborne MP, Chancellor of the Exchequer. I think it was worth the whole nine billion pounds. <laughs> um, Ken, there's been a round recently about the BBC paying people as companies rather than individuals. Mm. And I've always thought of you as, as a person mm. and, a, and a very individual person, mm. but now I find out you're a company and respect. Well done. Mm. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, if you want advice about how to run your city, that's what we provide. Well, you're, you're, a, you're a company, are you, Ken? Mm. That offer advice on running a city? Yeah. Uh, and with a straight face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't set up the company in order to lower no. your tax rate? I mean, the only way you lower your tax rate is you have some offshore holding and you funnel it all through that. It's in pri you, private eyes got a column on that every week about Yeah, yeah, I know how it works. I'm interested yeah. in yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I employed an economist, I employed a press officer. I employed my wife as my, my secretary. Well, that's, yeah. that's obviously straight. Now, <laughs> I mean, you, do you want to spend all your time handing all my emails and letters and... No, but my... you could. No, I couldn't. I'm flying around the world advising people now to screw up their city. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what do you make of the Tory chairman, Grant Shapps, and his alter ego, Michael Green? But, I mean, <laughs> he was telling people how to become successful. Um, using an alter ego, mm. and if, I mean, he is quite successful. I mean, he's you know he's, mm. he's now running the party. Mm. Oh right, so that's the success. That's the success. <laughs> he got the job. Which, yeah. Well, isn't it? Isn't it? I mean, obviously, this will be cut out if it's if it's libelous. But isn't that? Isn't that a? <laughs> you wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> Go for it, Graham. Well, what he's what he's doing isn't that isn't that isn't that being a con man? It's no, no. He's just using another identity. It's like going online and pretending you're a Belgian princess. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't everyone done that? <laughs> just me, then. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, he's, he's using a, a, a pseudonym. This is the new Tory chairman, Grant Shapps. Uh, he was at the conference, and um, the indefatigable <laughs> Michael Crick uh, spotted Shapps and, and followed him to try and ask him whether the testimonials on his website were from real people. This should be a new Olympic sport. The Advertising Standards Authority, the ASA, are now handling a complaint about how-to corpse testimonials. It's quite possible, of course, these people do exist, since their tributes date from years ago. But Mr. Shapps didn't seem keen today to help find them. What about uh, Kareem Stockheath of Surrey? Doesn't appear to be any Stockheath anywhere in the world. There doesn't appear to be a stockheath anywhere in the world. Is she genuine? Is Richard Wharton of Protectory Option in New York genuine? <laughs> is Gail M. Richard of the Wallace and Trust? It doesn't appear to be a Wallace and Trust. Is he, uh, Michael, oh, is I can tell you, is everybody is um, genuine. Uh, I'm answering the questions for the essay, and I think that should be true. There's not a guilty man, is it? You don't, you don't dart about like that if, you're, uh, if you've got something to hide. Well, he used to be Minister for Housing, so I'm very worried about his sense of rooms. <laughs> <laughs> he can't seem to find a toilet. Uh, meanwhile, what did David Cameron do recently in an attempt to boost his own popularity? Cut his throat. <laughs> we would have we would have heard about that wouldn't we <laughs>